At a converted warehouse in North London, a team is busy preparing new programmes for a global Muslim audience. London-based Imam Ajmal Masroor is one of the co-founders of the channel, which aims to celebrate Islam. Every time we switch on the television, it's something about Muslims, something about terrorism. It's become synonymous subconsciously. We need to become responsible. And many Muslims are feeling very frustrated. Our channel isn't a reaction to it. Our channel is a challenge to it. The channel is being marketed as the Muslim Netflix, with dramas and documentaries. The appeal to investors being that unlike some of the other Muslim channels that already exist, it won't focus on news or politics. The aim is to appeal to global urban Muslims, or gummies, who are keen for a more upbeat vision of Islam. The original funding came from individuals and from crowdsourcing, and the goal now is to achieve both more programming and more funding from investors. Annie Coxon is one of Alchemia's earliest investors. She's a consultant physician and a convert to Islam. So does she feel the channel will help counter any prejudice against Muslims, or even help draw extremists back into the mainstream? I don't think ISIS will watch it. They will ban us. Because people who are extremists do not want another opinion. They only see their own, and they have a huge vested interest to maintain their own extreme views. So I don't think we will influence them at all. Light upon light, that's quite powerful. There's light and then there's infinite light and there's more light, which I kind of understand as an artist. Another documentary is about people's favorite verses of the Quran, made by two Jewish filmmakers. Alchemy's founder, Naveed Akhtar, spotted what he believes is a real gap in a growing market, not least in Muslim majority countries like Malaysia or Indonesia. And they're really interested in who are the pioneers or what it means to be a Muslim who are dealing with the realities of 21st century Islam. And when I go there and they, think, they say, wow, you're from London, you know, you Muslims are so cool what you're doing there. And they see us really as being the closest as possible to Silicon Valley, to kind of, you know, the, the creativity that comes out of London, the ideas that we have here. The idea is for Alchemia to be a breath of fresh air, showing a different side of the modern Muslim world, one seen all too rarely on the news today.